Hello Leos, this is Citrina and this is your June 2018 reading. So let's get right into it. Let's see what's going on. We have Mercury in Gemini until the 12th of the month and for you that will fall in your 11th house of friendships. Remember when Mercury is in Gemini you tend to have scattered thoughts and by this falling in your house of friendships you might find yourself double booking dinners or lunches with different friends so you might have you might book um two different lunches with two different friends in two different parts of the city and you don't even realize it until the day comes things like that will be happening to you while mercury is in gemini in your 11th house because it does deal with friendships okay let's keep moving on because the mercury will be in cancer until the 29th it will be in cancer from the 12th to the 29th now when it's in the when it's in cancer you find yourself communicating your emotions very um, very profoundly so you have no problems communicating how you feel now for you Leo this falls in your 12th house of places of isolation so for you, you will be communicating communicating to, you know, um, those around you that you just want to take a retreat. You just want to chill out and just like meditate or pray, just take it easy, just take walks in the park, things of that nature. Go for walks in the park, things of that nature. That's why Mercury is in Cancer and it falls in your 12th house. So you will be looking to be more isolated during that time. Now, Mercury does move into Leo on the 29th of the month. And when Mercury goes into Leo, remember, the energy of Mercury in Leo is that you will love talking about yourself, okay? Now, for you, Leo, Mercury will be in Leo in your first house. So you will find yourself talking about yourself to the second power, okay? So just watch out for that. I mean, because when Mercury is in Leo, the energy of that is that you love talking about yourself. And depending on where it falls in your chart, that's a lot of times what you will be talking about. So for you, you'll be talking about yourself, Leo. Let's say you go out and get a haircut or, you know, whatever, get some new clothes. You will be talking about that and talking about that and talking about that, okay? So just watch out for that and just know... If you have any friends, show them this video so that they'll know why you're talking about yourself so much in June. Okay, so let's keep moving on because we have Venus in Cancer until the 13th. Now, while, while Venus is in Cancer, uh, it's a very affectionate energy. It's a very passionate, like romantic type energy. So you will find yourself being passionate about trying to spend time alone, okay? Because it's in your 12th house of isolation. Let's keep moving on because we have Venus in Leo on the 13th through the end of the month. So for you, that would be in your first house, okay? And when Venus is in Leo, that is an energy of splurging. You won't mind splurging. You won't mind spending money on yourself things of that nature it's also a very romantic type of feeling like you want to be romanced uh, when venus is in leo okay so for you it falls in your first house so you will be all about spending money on yourself you will be about um you want people to take you out like if you're dating you want to be taken out during that time okay and you will also be generous with your money as well. So for any of you guys out there planning on taking, you know, some ladies out, you will be very generous. So ladies out there, if you know any Leos or if you're if you're in the dating um, scene, or if you're on the dating scene, find you a Leo to date in June because the Leo men will be very gener generous with their money uh, in June. So... That's just a dating tip from Citrina, okay? Find a Leo man to date in June because they will be very generous with their money, okay? Okay, so let's keep going on because Mars will be in Aquarius all month. And when Mars is in Aquarius, 
that is an in, that's it's an energy of looking for new ways to do things and for you leo that will be mars will be in aquarius in your seventh house of partnerships so for all of you out there who are in long-term romantic partnerships you're going to be looking for ways to spice that relationship up okay so try to do it before june 26 try to spice your relationship up um, before june 26 because mars goes retrograde on june 26 through august 26 so between june 26 to august 26 you're not going to be trying to spice your relationship up or do anything so try to get something started now okay with this relationship because what's going on is that mars is a planet of action mars likes to take initiative so when mars is retrograde guess what mars does not want to do anything okay so that might be how you start feeling around the 26th okay so any type of romance you want to bring to your relationship any type of fun pizzazz things of that nature you need to do it before june 26 because after that time you're not going to want to do it you're not going to want to do anything new in the relationship okay so just keep that in mind now let's look at what's going on with you and uranus or uranus tomato tomato okay for you it falls in your 10th house leo which is your house of career your house of what you're known for in the world now uranus is a big planet okay we have jupiter that's the largest planet then we have saturn and then we have uranus and after that we have earth so a lot of times when uranus moves into different signs earth tends to have earthquakes okay we saw that with the um what's going on in in hawaii you know a lot of people a lot of people didn't really put the pieces together but uranus was preparing to move into taurus because uranus was still in aries remember i don't know if you can think back when uranus moved into aries we had the was the fukushima um incident now when uranus was moving into taurus or preparing to move into taurus it was still in aries we we had the earthquake the earthquake in um the lot the volcano in hawaii okay so anyway uranus is all about surprises it's all about sudden changes things of that nature and also if you don't know uranus is wherever uranus is in your chart it's there to bring about change. So if you don't bring about the change, Uranus will do it for you. Now for you, Leo, it falls in your house of career. So a lot of you out there are thinking about making some changes to your career or making some changes to your business, maybe getting some different or some new equipment, things of that nature. Uranus is there to help you do it, okay? Uh, Uranus is there to help you leave that job, start another job. Uranus is there to help you quit your job, start your new business. Uranus is there to keep you on your job, give you a promotion, things of that nature. Just know that Uranus wants you to um, make some moves in the area of what you're known for in the world. Now, under this transit also, you will find... Um, some people will find fame. Some people will become uh, famous under this, under this transit. So let's keep moving on, okay? Because we have Jupiter in, Jupiter is not in Neptune. Jupiter is trining Neptune. Now, this is a great aspect, okay? Uh, whenever you have planets trining one another, they give each other luck in that area. So for you, Leo, I'm looking at your chart. You have Jupiter in the fourth, which is your how your house of um, dealing with home and family life, and it is trining Neptune in your house eight. So you have Jupiter in house four, trining Neptune in high in house eight. So for you, Leo, you might find that your partner gets like a bonus at work. Or uh, you guys, you might find that your partner wins the lottery, something like that. Because you have you have luck dealing with house four, which is your home and family life, and Neptune, which deals with other people's money. So 
maybe someone will a long lost relative will pass and leave you a really great um uh drawing a blank your relative will leave you like a um leave you some money okay i can't think of the word right now things like that will be happening to leos during this time when you have jupiter trying neptune in the houses that they fall in right now so you will have luck in your home and family life in relation to other people's money okay inheritance that's what i was thinking of thank you okay so you might find that someone leaves you an inheritance and you're able to get your house fixed up or you might find that your partner has doubled their income and you can get your house fixed up um things of that nature so you will definitely have luck in the area of other people's money and your home and your family life so that's something to look forward to leo let's see what else is going on right now okay so until the 21st the sun will be in gemini and then as of the 21st the sun goes into cancer so as of june 21st we can start telling the cancer people happy birthday and then we have the full moon in capricorn on june 28th also let's talk about the full the new moon in gemini that is going to happen on june 13th so what I'm going to do is instead of doing a separate video to pull um, an oracle card for all signs, I'm pulling an oracle card at the end of every um, horoscope. So I'm going to pull a card for you, Leo, and this is going to be what you should concentrate on at the new moon. Remember, the new moon is all about new beginnings, okay? So this is what you need to concentrate on at this new moon in Gemini on June 13th. Let's see what you have, Leo. Mm, firm foundation. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Leo. So you need to concentrate at this new moon in Gemini on June 13th. This is what you need to concentrate on. Look at this trine. Isn't that awesome? Where's my trine? You see this trine? You see Jupiter's trying Neptune. And look at this man here. Look at that. This is what you need to concentrate on, Leo, okay? Remember, all you single ladies out there, find you a Leo to date this month because the Leo men are going to be generous. Look at this. Jupiter trying Neptune. And then you have this man here, firm foundation. So anyway, okay. And is number four. You see this? Number four. And Jupiter is in your house four right now. So you will definitely, Leo's out there, I am excited to see what is going on for you this month. Because you have some good things on the horizon. Your partner's going to come home like, guess what, babe? <laughs> We're about to pay this house off, okay? I mean, something great is going to go on for this for, for Leo's. I want you guys to share this video with any Leo you know because we need to let them know what's on the horizon for them, okay? Um, some exciting things are on the horizon for Leos, okay? And also, a lot of you um, Leo men out there, if you have anybody you want to date, send them this video because I'm going to let them know that you are very a very generous person this month, okay? Okay, you Leo men? Send this video out. Maybe put this on your um, your profile. I don't even know if you can put a video on your dating profile. That's how long I've been out of the dating scene. I've been married. It's going to be 18 years this um, this year. So I don't even know, you know, like how to post a whatever on a dating site. But if you can post a video on a dating site, post this video. To let these women out here know they need to be dating you this month because you have it going on this month okay so anyway i'm gonna get out of here and uh it has been a pleasure to bring you this uh june 2018 reading gemini i'm sorry leo i know i'm speaking to a leo um leo thank you so much 
for liking this video, subscribing to the channel, sharing the video. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can uh, contact me. I have my contact information in the description box below. And congratulations, Leo. This is going to be a great month for you. I'm looking forward to hearing um, what stories you have to tell about the great things that have happened to you this month. And until next month, Leo, have a great month.